Yo, what is up, bros? We are at Southgate Hotel in uh, Cambridge, Ohio. Check out this maneuvering. So, like, you got that slope right there, and then you have, like, literally no room to turn around, but somehow I pulled up here, turned around, and put the trailer right here at the back door to Southgate Hotel. We are here going to be doing Buckeye Trails prom this evening. So, uh, I got the key to the trailer. We're going to unlock the trailer. Hopefully, this door is unlocked, and we're going to start loading it and everything. Very interesting setup we're going to be doing with four movers and totems. It's going to be kind of cool. And this will be the first iteration where we're going to be doing the wireless, the completely wireless, uh, like, announcements out front. So, no more running power out front. We're going to be using the Maui 5 Go. We're going to be using the wireless mic, and we're going to be using the battery from Colorado Sound and Light and do a completely battery-powered system out there. It's going to be lit. So, let's, let's get loaded. And we are here with the trailer full of gear actually I brought more gear back with me I left the trailer up here in Ohio because it was two weekends back to back doing proms in Ohio so why waste the gas driving all the way back yeah besides the point got new cases here these are cases for the up lights the American DJ element hexes so each one of these holds six element hex bars and they're I think they're waterproof too it's kind of cool but uh there you go I hit up Jeff on Monday because like we just got back from the prom and like I had nowhere to put 10 of my element hexes I was like this sucks like you got to carry them by hand so I was like hey Jeff I need cases for these element hexes He's like can I ship them out tomorrow I'm like yeah yeah go for it so uh, I got element hexes now anyways we're gonna get loaded in we're gonna get this started we're gonna get this uh this show on the road I guess for setup let's go Yo, so we are all loaded in, all set, ready to go. I just wanted to kind of point out, it, you can't tell anymore, but everything is on wheels. And with having a trailer, that's the main goal. We got the rock and roll, all the bags go in there. Wheels, 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 wheels. And this just makes things a million times easier when you are using a trailer because everything can wheel in, wheel out. Now, obviously, uh, I keep stuff in bags because we don't always do events where we're bringing the trailer, like the weddings of the simple setups and Kalen, when I send him out, he doesn't have a trailer. That's why things have to stay in bags. So I'm actually gonna be buying a couple more big road cases kind of like this adj one and a couple small ones to put all of the extra cables in and to put the bags in so if i have a big utility road case i can throw all the lights that are in bags into that utility thing roll it into the trailer and roll it out of the trailer very simple compared to the rock and roller where things can kind of fall off to the side but we're gonna get set up here and i'm gonna kind of walk you guys through like we have been recently and what we're doing for the setup. First up, Michael is actually getting all of the element hexes out to get them charging. Uh, we didn't charge them prior, but we're setting up early today, so we knew there was no problem with just plugging them in here. Plus, most of them have 50% battery left, so it only should take about an hour and a half to two hours to get them fully charged. I'm gonna get started, and I'll check in. First step, as always, is to center up the whole entire rig. So. It is uh, centered up based on the center of the dance floor, not necessarily the center of the wall, as you guys can see. Kind of different compared to when we do the massive trussing over top. We start with the console because the console is the center of the rig, and then we spurge out from there. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is our totems on either side. But I wanted to point out one thing with the AGJ event table. And uh, a lot of you guys asked me how I hang this par here to light up the FSL sign. And actually, it's just two Velcro ties that I have right here and here. And these are actually attached to this bar. So when I put this bar down in here, I just take the Velcro ties, I attach it to the bottom of here, and uh, plug in my power, and we're good to go. And the top just sets up on top like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the trussing is now set up. Actually, got to put the pins in still, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a T-bar and we'll be hanging two InnoSpot Pros on each one of these movers. It's going to look pretty sweet. And actually, I had to move the table because I realized this is actually the center of the room, not over here. So now everything is centered up, looking good, looking ready to roll. It's going to be dope. Moving on to setting up lighting though. Checking in, the movers are all set up. They're all ready to go. And those two just turned on. Very simple, we got our truss plates right here. These are the 30 by 30 ones, the bigger truss plates. We're running the two and a half meter or the eight and a half foot tall, at least like 8.6 feet high trussing totems with the adapter up there to do the T-bars. And we have two ADJ InnoSpot Pros 
on each of them. We're going to be doing up lighting with a completely wireless ADJ element so that way we don't have to run any cables down to there. It'll look very clean, very simple. All of those are charging over here. We're going to be doing like eight in this room and then we got two and then we're going to be doing some wired ones and they're doing some static colors as well. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael's lighting station. We're going to be rocking the donor wireless DMX Chave Show Express ADJ Wi-Fi for the ADJ, um, what are they called? Element hexes, Chave Show Express laptop. We got the SRX over here. We got the SRX over there. We have the two VRX subs. Complete sound overkill for this room. Main reason why we have this sound system is because I didn't want to bring two sound systems up to Ohio, and uh, we need the VRX and the SRXs last weekend, so we're going to be using them this weekend. And uh, we used the PRX subs in here last time, and uh, the PRX subs just didn't get low enough for me. But uh, we got everything wired up. I didn't. I spared you the misery of seeing all of the wiring that we did. Uh, we still got to go through and gaff tape everything and put scrims on the stands. But unlike Pritchard, the power situation in this place sucks. The only way we could get power, uh, we needed we needed three circuits to be safe because the lighting alone will pull like eight amps. So I didn't. I wanted to be safe basically. So. We went from this side wall over here. We came around, we powered some stuff over there. We got a, a circuit behind us and we got one in the back. So behind there in the back in the kitchen, we pulled another circuit together to give us three circuits. They're only 15 amp circuits. So another reason why we needed three instead of two. If we had 20s, I'd be fine with two, but yeah, we're gonna turn on the music and we're gonna do a little sound check. We are all set up in the main room and in the back room behind me. Like I said, we're going to be using all element hexes, which are charging right now. So those are going to be going all the way around here, all 10 of them. Two of them will be going in the totems. But uh, this room will look a lot more like this room when we're done. So we also did up lighting in this room as well. As you can see, we did up lighting all the way around. I put a wash FX too. This is just something extra I threw in there. I, I put it in there to up light their like... Paris structure, the Eiffel Tower, but uh, we got up lighting all the way around the room. All of these are ADJ Mega Hex PARs, except for the wash effects, but uh, Mega Hex PARs all the way around. We're using what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight of them in here. Simple, clean wash effects, too. Just doing some nice up lighting all the way around the room in blue. As you guys know, this is literally the exact same theme as last weekend. How ironic. I come back, do two proms in Ohio. Both of them are a night in Paris. And uh, by far, the trussing definitely looks a lot better. And it definitely fits the, the theme of a night in Paris, like with the metal industrial theme of Paris, the Eiffel Tower, and the lighting overall just looks awesome. Like I said, this is complete overkill sound rig right here. The subs, I got dialed in about negative 15 dB, and the tops are about negative 6 dB compared to peak. So if peak is at 0 dB, on my mixer gain. Uh, these are about negative 15 and the tops are at negative six. So I got plenty of headroom and I'm easily putting out about 100 dB on the dance floor because this is a small area. We're expecting somewhere around 200 people. So just under 200 or just over 200, that's normally about the expectations that is bright for this problem. And like I said, I'm charging up the Maui 5 Go over here. We'll be running the Maui 5 Go with our Phoenix wireless microphone, that's what I brought, and uh, we're gonna plug that in to the back of here. We're gonna run that with the battery pack in there. I'll show you guys that later. But anyways, that is all for the setup portion of this gig log. I will catch you guys when we're back here, ready to get this thing started. What's up guys? Uh, all suited up, we're back at the prom. So I'm gonna go through a equipment walkthrough. Michael just finished unwrapping foam sticks because if you guys saw the last prom gig log, they come individually wrapped and it's a pain in the butt, right? Yeah. So we're gonna take you through the equipment. People are here. This is like the parent walkthrough phase. I don't understand. Comment below if any of you guys do proms. Do they do parent walkthroughs? It's like the only one that does them. So let's let's go through the equipment. You just yeah, just send there. I think that's the best looking place. Let's start off with our lighting equipment. In terms of lights, we have 
the trussing, these two and a half meter totems. We have two ADJ InnoSpot Pros on both of them, and we have one Element Hex uplighting them. Around that perimeter, we have another eight Element Hexes lighting up this portion of the area. Providing our haze is the ADJ Haze Generator right back here on a loop. Sound-wise, we're set up on the ADJ Event Table back here. We're rocking the Pioneer DDJ SZ case in the Pro X black coffin with the DBX drive rack, with the GT audio wireless mics, and the boom arm HV Spectra 15T laptop running Serato. Vmoto LP2s with my custom plates that need to be updated to the new logo. Subwise, the Beastie JBL VRX 918SPs powered subs, and tops are the JBL SRX 815Ps. The JBLs are sitting atop of Rockville spring hydraulic, whatever you want to call it, stands that help lift them up easily, and the best scrims for speaker stands on stage scrims. Why are they the best scrims? Because the bag is built into the scrim, so that way you just roll it up into the bag. We've already talked about the lighting in this room over here but we're running ADJ hex pars around the outside. There is seven or eight of them around the outside here. And then in the center, we have a Chave Wash FX2 lighting up.
What's up guys? We are completely done here. The gig is over with. As you can see, we laid out all of our cases here. Getting ready to start tearing down. Michael's already tearing down uplighting in the other room. But as far as this gig log is considered, it is over. I'm gonna go change into some comfortable clothes. Pro tip for you guys, bring comfortable clothes so that when you're tearing down for like an hour, you're, you're not in like dress clothes in a monkey suit. But anyways, I'll catch you guys when we are completely done. And everything is gone. I'm gonna do a wrap up when we get back to the house. What's up guys, back at NC one day later, got all of the gear, all of the gear back into the garage. And actually, there's a lot more gear in here because I picked up a lot of gear and you're gonna be seeing that in the next gig log, which is gonna be a prom for me and then Kaylin's doing a wedding and then we also got a rental going on for a DJ from New Jersey that's coming, not bar, coming to Charlotte to do a wedding. So I got 16 new ADJ Mega Hex Pars, making 20 total. Got a new uh, Icon Profile Pearl Gobo projector. These are the cases for the Element Hexes right here, but down here we have a actual projector, like a actual like projector you would see in a conference room. You'll see that projector actually used at Kalen's wedding, which is going to go on the gravity stand, which the base plate's there and it's over there, that's also new. Uh, ADJ white facade, still haven't unboxed it. Got uh, two Rockville collapsible totems in their bags. Collapsible totems. Uh, I still got one to put together. That's another thing I gotta do this week. Oh, and that's all foam sticks. But yeah, that's all going down next week. Uh, it's gonna be crazy again next week with doing practically three events at one time. One of them's a rental, but like it's a full on like everything for a DJ including up lighting, dancing on a cloud, all of that in a rental. But anyways, in terms of the prom that I just did, that prom was awesome. Definitely a lot more fun and uh, a lot more energetic crowd than what we saw from that high school at homecoming time. So that's awesome, that's cool. And I had a blast with the kids and uh, they seemed to have one as well and the advisors gave me compliments as always. That is the longest running homecoming prom school that I have been doing, so pretty awesome. Anyways, on that note, if you're looking forward to the next gig logs of all this stuff and you enjoyed this gig log, be sure to give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you see the next gig log of all of this crazy madness that's going down. And like always guys, keep the record spinning. Some of you guys told me to stop saying keep them record spinning and say like keep the music spinning and change it. No, I'm a throwback person even though no one spins records anymore. Keep them record spinning guys and I will see you guys next time. Peace.